Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be my milk picks for the week and I just thought I would show you my cat in the window. He loves us in the window. It's still raining, um, but it's dark out now and it's warm. It's a warm rain like you would get in kind of the Midwest and stuff um, here in Southern California. So it's kind of crazy weather, but I will go ahead and jump right in. So these are my milk picks and I have a pretty big basket here. It actually, I ended up using a different basket than the one I showed you in my last video. Uh, it's quite large and there's a lot of stuff, but I didn't want to try and pick stuff from most of the vendors I have and I overflowed the other basket. So obviously I'm not going to get through all of this and some of the stuff, it's bigger quantities and I'm only going to melt part of it, obviously, but it's just easier to throw it er everything in one thing. So I'll try to go by vendor as much as possible, but Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Southern Sunshine Noel, and this is a great scent. I remember melting it from her and falling in love and needing to order a bunch, and I ordered a four-pack of these hearts. She doesn't do these anymore. This is back when she used to do custom orders. Um, and so I got, I have two of these. They're not even dated. I think I got it like April last year. So these are definitely getting older. Um, but this is a fantastic, great kind of orange, creamy, fruity scent. So I'm going to melt some of that. I also have, and this isn't labeled because I pulled these out of a larger bag of hers, but this is Fuji Apple, Lavender and Fuji Apple, and it's such a great scent from Sassy Girl. I love apple and lavender from anyone, but I love hers. And then this is everything but his kitchen sink. If you watched my melt review, my should you melt this video that I just posted, I talked about everything but her kitchen sink, and then this is the same thing but with blue sugar, and so I have a few of these. Again, this is from a bigger bag that I had stuck in here, and so it's not labeled, but I want to melt those. This is also from Sassy Girl Roma. There's no label on it, but this was from um, a box that I got at a super discounted rate. She sent me like a medium or a regional rate B. I can't remember. It was a big box of just overpours that she didn't label, so it was all mystery, so she doesn't know what, you know, we didn't know what anything was. But this is like kind of an orange pineapple tropical scent, so I thought it would be good to melt for summer, so I grabbed that. Then from Rose Girls, um, this is a part of the, what does she call these, moon pies or whoopie pies? This is in strawberry jam. I love strawberries, so I figured I'd try and melt through that. And then also I have just tiny pieces left of cotton candy frosting and lavender in their piped hearts and I actually want to mix these together. I did pick out lavender from several vendors so that I would have um, nighttime melts. And then also a sample that I got in Manic Mario Madness. This must have been my sample from my custom order that I got last year. Did I get it this year? I don't remember when I actually received it but it was from last year when I placed an order last year. I only done one custom order with them so far. Then from Rainbow Melts, I picked out Tinsel. Even though this tends to be a holiday scent that most vendors bring out in the hall, like around Christmas time, because it's minty, it's, it, see, this has pomegranate, strawberries, raspberries, with a subtle hit of fresh peppermint leaves and fresh vanilla. But I love minty scent, minty scents year round. So I grabbed this because, especially on hot days, I love to have kind of minty scents that I feel like are fresh and kind of clean out the air and stuff. From Kim Rianne's, this is from my most recent custom order from her. This is Mango Honeydew um, in her little, there it's paraffin and it's in her little smiley guys and so I picked up that one. And also from Kim Rianne's, this is actually from my custom order from last year so it does look a little different and these are actually not in paraffin. This is in her normal wax which I believe is a blend so it's a little mushier. But this is in Poolside Paradise. Again, I thought this would be good for summer. From Glitterati, I did pick out several chunks. This is Strawberry Jam Cinnamon Donuts and I definitely need to melt some strawberry. And Glitterati, I love Glitterati. Pink Sugar County Fair, which people rave about, but I only have this one chunk, so I've kind of been hoarding it, but I just need to melt through the stuff I really love. White Peach and Hibiscus. Again, I thought that'd be a great scent for summer. And Apple and Orchids. Then I did grab Amish Friendship Bread from the Country Scent Shack. 
um, in case I feel like bakery, because I do love to melt bakery scents as long as they're not too heavy um, during the summer as well, because I feel like bakery is comforting. So I grab this one and that way I can see how it performs for me. From Candles from the Keeping Room, this is a sample in apple coffee cake because I love apple scents. And so I thought I'd go ahead and try and melt that one. Um, also, this is two pieces from a four pack of pink sugared grapefruit. Or it could have been an eight pack that got divided into two four packs. I don't know. I have one tart left from Candles from the Keeping Room in Rosemary Mint. It's a snowflake, so I figured I could, that's a good nighttime melt. One of my favorite scents from Candles from the Keeping Room, too, is Pink Lemonade. I love the scent. I have another bag, an 8-ounce bag, that I got recently. Um, but these are two that were left from last year that I thought I'd go ahead and melt through. And then just for a little bakery uh, toffee graham pie, I thought I would throw that in there. From Vintage Chic Scents, so you can see I have some older stuff here. These are her old three packs, and this is in Little Briar Rose. It's from July of last year. And also a three pack from Vintage Chic Scents. There's only two left, but this is Deep Slumber, which is a lavender blend. I don't remember what else she has in it, but it is from July last year. All I smell right now is the lavender. I'm not sure what else is in there. Um, I think that's it from BCS. Okay, from Sniff My Tarts. This is something I got in a round robin. It's sweet lavender, marshmallow cake, sugar cookie, cotton candy. It is a little bit of a mess, and it was like that when I got it, just because round robin boxes get really beat up, and I was one of the last people on the list, so everything in it was really beat up. Oh, here's another one from Candles from the Keeping Room. Sorry. Pink Sugar Milk. I love to melt this one at night. So there's a single grubby left here out of a four pack. Okay, so back to Sniff My Tarts. Frosted Zucchini Bread. This is, again, just so I can have some bakery options. And this one smells fantastic. This is Mandarin Coconut Marshmallow Cake. Mandarin Oranges and Mango Sorbet. Um, this is from a custom order from last year. So I'm going to melt through some of that. And I've melted some of it, I think, already. All right. From Front Porch, I definitely have some old wax here. This is Orange Chiffon Cake. And you can see it's from February of last year. And this is, this is one of her big cookies in Strawberry Soda and Lemon Orange Sherbet Marshmallow. And then, I don't know if you guys ever watched my videos when I was repackaging her grubbies in these glass jars, which I do, these are, you know, leftover three, three wicks from Bath & Body Works. And putting them in the jars like this, I do think helps preserve the scent because they smell really strong still. It's lemon marshmallow. Nope, sorry, I lied. Dreamsicle Lemon Noel. I, th I think I have a lemon marshmallow as well, and I thought that's what I grabbed, but obviously it's not. But... It smells similar to her lemon marshmallow because it's like a lemon bakery scent. Um, but it's Dreamsicle Lemon Noel from February of last year. It still smells really strong. I don't really get the Dreamsicle. It's mostly like lemon and the vanilla bean Noel, which is why I was thinking it was lemon marshmallow. But I figured I would try and melt through that. And then from Super Tarts, I grabbed just a couple of things. Um, this is Finn and Jake, which, I don't know, it's a good, I think there's grapefruit in here, I don't know what else is in here, but it, it's starting to get soft, and if you can see the clamp, it's warping, and so I really need to melt through that one, I have several of those that are like that. And then this is a sample from Super Tarts, it has apple in it, but I'm not sure what else, it's really good apple scent. It's mostly what I get, but um, I want to melt it and try it. And then I'll love it and not know what it is, and I'll be pissed off, but whatever. So a few things from Better Homes and Gardens that I grabbed. Um, I grabbed the Vanilla Cookie Crunch. This is one of the really large clamshells that they have. So I grabbed this one. 
I love this one. It goes great mixing it with everything. And then also blushing pink petals. And these two I like to melt together. And I've never tried the scent from Bath and Body Works, but there was a scent, um, pink petal tea cakes or something like that, or petal tea cakes or something that Bath and Body Works had. And another YouTuber that um, is not really in the wax community. She does mostly like Yankee candles, Bath and Body Works candles. She does like candles and then um, so just your like regular retail store like wax stuff. She does better homes and gardens obviously and sensationals and then a lot of makeup and stuff. But I watch her and she said this two, these two blended together are very similar to that Bath and Body Works candle. Those pink petal tea cakes that they brought out like one year and they haven't brought back and people just loved. I, it's a very unique scent because this is very pretty. It's a very pretty feminine scent and this being a sweet bakery. I love them together. I have no idea if it is similar to that candle or not because I've never tried it. But I actually thought I would try it when she recommended it and I actually really like it. So I will melt those two. This is a big old pile of wax here. Also from Better Homes and Gardens, Sugared Lavender Twist, which I absolutely love. And to me, this smells like pink sugar and lavender, and I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. And I don't know why, but there, the color in this one gets really, um, it gets very discolored. It used to be very pretty pink, and now how you can you see it's kind of getting like this orangey ugliness on the edges, but whatever. From the bathing garden, I have a few things here uh, that I want to melt through. This is peach hearts. It's just three little squares left and again this stuff is old from February I have so much old wax guys I need to get through it lemon curd and rose milk which I know I've mentioned I don't care for lemon curd but I want to try this one and melt it see how I like it with the the rose milk and then also people rave about this one it's Easter basket and I got it last year when she did this release um, so this is from April and I want to give it a try, see how I like it. Then this is a vendor I um, tried out. So these are not too old. These are from December last year, these two clamshells. It's Eagle Rock Candle Co. Um, they don't have a ton of scent listed scents on their website. I think they sell through eBay, but I did get some stuff. And so far, everything I've tried of theirs, it performs really well for me. I have melted some chunks from different clam shells and so like this one it's pink sugar and peppermint are these two and I actually really um, enjoy I love these two scents together in general and from them if they're really strong really good so I figured I would go ahead and that would be a good nighttime melt for me I need to push this stuff back it is too much and it's making me have a hard time putting this stuff in front of the camera okay then the last vendor here is Tiffany Candles, and I grabbed a three pack of Teddy Tarts in Bora Bora. Thought, again, a good summery scent. I got these back in January of this year. Um, wanted to try those, not try them out, but figured that'd be good for summer. Then this is from a custom order I did with her last year. It is a mess. This is the wax that I got that melted, and it melted in a complete like block, and I broke it, like it melted and then rehardened into a block, and you can see all the stuff seeping out of it and it's a mess but it still throws good enough for me to melt in my room like I will this is um lavender vanilla and pink sugar and cotton candy frosting and so I need to get through this because it's a disaster and it does still have some scent left it's just not real strong but it's good for melting in my room because I usually get a good throw out of everything in there and then this is a loaf from Tiffany from last year uh, in raspberry lemonade and melon ball fizz chunks with pink marshmallow overpour. Again, I figured this would be a great kind of summery, fruity, sweet scent. So um, it's a loaf that I chunked up and threw into a bakery bag. And she hasn't really done her loaves in a while now. And then here is some chunklets around the time she first released them. I don't think I got them the very first time, but I did get them shortly thereafter. This is cake batter ice cream with strawberry white cake overpour. So that is everything. Oh, this smells so good. Delicious. 
and this doesn't mean I'm not going to grab other stuff from my stash to melt, but I think I'm going to try and, and like primarily pick from this stuff. And it helps me when I go through my wax and kind of pull out other things. So this is kind of what I plan on melting for the next uh, week or two. And then hopefully I can get through some of this and come back with a review for you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.